We have so much good news to go through with this edition of Otaku Spirit Anime News. So if you're interested in some Spice and Wolf news, some No Game No Life, Ikitosen, and Tokyo Revengers, plus more, stay tuned. The official website for Gigigeni no Kitaro has announced that they are going to be doing an anime adaptation of one of Shigeru Mizuki's other works, Akuma-kun. This Akuma-kun manga will be getting an anime adaptation, so if you're a big fan of his work, definitely stay tuned for more information regarding that. For our second bit of news, we have Phantom of the Idol. This manga will be getting an anime adaptation. It is slated for 2022, and it's based off the manga Kamikuzu Idol, or that's the Japanese title for it. They have released a new teaser trailer as well as a visual for the series, and the synopsis is Yuya, one of half of the boy pop duo Zings, may have be the laziest performer in the Japanese music industry. His partner is out there giving 110% every night, and thus he's very popular. But unfortunately, Yuya himself, being very terrible at his job, sloppy dancing and everything, even his manager is looking for an excuse to get rid of him, isn't really doing so well. But after one concert appearance, he ends up running into a girl. This girl is dressed colorfully and has a very vibrant and vigorous attitude, and all she wants to do from her life is perform. Well, the big twist is that she's already dead. So I'm really curious to see how that kind of pans out. I've unfortunately have never heard anything regarding this series, but it does have an interesting premise there. I guess it's technically implying that she might possess him in order to help him get better, or at least her, I guess, bubbly nature and enthusiasm about the performance might end up stirring up some sort of passion within him. For next bit, we have some extremely exciting news coming out of audiobooks. Now I've enjoyed a lot of audiobooks at this point. All You Need Is Kill, Galactic Heroes, the novel, Novel for the Attack on Titan series and more. And one audiobook that I've always kind of been craving this entire time is Spice and Wolf. This is a series that I've struggled for a long time to read, even though I have the entire series. I'm not much of a reader, but I do enjoy consuming audiobooks while I'm doing other things. Well, Yen Press has come out and announced at Anime NYC that they will in fact be doing an audiobook of Spice and Wolf. It's extremely exciting, and I definitely look forward to this release. They have the first volume slated for March 15th already, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Ina, the VTuber, will be doing the voicing for it, even though she has done a couple chapters. It's still exciting news, and I look forward to this release. Additionally, they have announced that they will be doing So My Spider, So What, and Rascal Does Not Dream of Bun and Girl Senpai, which I think are both also fantastic as well, because I've heard a lot of people regarding at least So My Spider, So What, enjoying the light novel way better than the unfortunate anime adaptation that we had so much problems with. And the audiobook news does not end there. It looks like J Novel themselves have announced that they will be doing an audiobook for Slayers, the novel series, which is great as well. I really do love Slayers, the anime. So this announcement does have me excited. For next bit of news, we have an anime adaptation announcement for Trapped in a Dating Sim, The World of Atome Games is Tough for Mobs. This is already slated for April 2022, so the spring season of next year. They have released a full animated trailer for it as well, which is great, and a visual for the series. The synopsis for the series is office worker Leon is reincarnated into a particular punishing dating sim video game where women reign supreme and only beautiful men have a seat at the table but Leon has a secret weapon he remembers everything from his past life which includes a complete playthrough of the very game in which he's trapped that sounds very familiar watch Leon spark a revolution to change the new world in order to fulfill his ultimate desire of living a quiet easy life in the countryside for fans of Tokyo Revengers be excited because it looks like Seven Seas has announced they will be doing a print release of Tokyo Revengers. The print release is being done in a two-in-one omnibus editions, and Barnes & Nobles has it listed for pre-order already, and they list it as featuring a variant cover with a double-sided fold-out poster. The volume is slated for May 3rd, 2022, and it also has listings for a standard release volume as well. Now, the big question mark for me personally, really did come around the censorship that came around the anime itself. But Seven Seas has already announced on Twitter that they are not going to be censoring the Manji symbol within the series, even though they're titling it Tokyo Revengers and not Tokyo Manji Revengers, but we'll, <laughs> we'll take what we can get. But instead they have opted to have a cultural note in the manga itself while not censoring the actual symbol itself. So I guess I can give Seven Seas a lot of props for that. Thank you so much for actually having some sense of logic looking at you anime adaptation for those that are excited for the second season of Afaretta, comic natalia website has reported that the second season is confirmed to premiere on january 13 so it's just right around the corner so definitely be excited for that if you're interested in the series. Me personally, I had a rough start with the series, but it definitely started picking up steam later on in the series. 
So I'm looking forward to his second season. For those unaware, it basically follows a guy who's reincarnated into another world along with all of his classmates. He's kind of seen as having the weakest abilities, so he ends up getting double-crossed by his classmates, but he kind of digs his way out from the deepest depths of this dungeon, eventually gaining some incredible power, and then becoming a lone wolf inside this world. For fans of Utawara Mono, the official website for Utawara Mono Mask of Truth game has released a teaser for the new anime adaptation. In this teaser, it was revealed the staff and a July 2022 premiere date, also confirming White Fox to be working on the series. A new key art has been released, and while personally I'm not a huge fan of this recent release of False Faces, I'm definitely excited to see where the story goes forward because I'm such a huge fan of the original Utuara Mano series. So I'll hold a lot of hope for this series and how it can turn things around for me. For our next bit of news is Land of the Dale. This is a series that we've already got a confirmation of a new anime adaptation, but thankfully the website for this series has confirmed that the series will be debuting on January 5th. 5th, so definitely look forward to that in the winter season. Additionally, the new trailer they released has revealed the opening theme, which will be done by True. So definitely a fantastic group, and I'm looking forward to that song being in the series. For those unfamiliar with the series, Synopsis reads, the last thing she can remember is her life support beginning to fail. Her body had suffered terribly after a fatal accident, and the only freedom left for her life came from the VR world Liddell. How did she end up in a place that looks exactly like her game, except 200 years have apparently gone by? Question mark? Our next bit of news follows Interview with Monster Girls. This series has been confirmed in its recent Vaughn release that it will be ending with the 11th compilation volume is set to release in fall 2022. So if you're a fan of this manga series, just expect that it's going to be ending here soon. Which for me, it personally kind of bums me out because I think this is kind of a death nail to the series every having a second season anime adaptation. But at the same time, it has me excited because I've actually been looking to actually get into the manga itself for quite a while now. And to know that it has an ending to it, I'm kind of excited to see where it concludes. Our next bit of news follows Ikitosen. This series has been confirmed via their official website to be getting an anime adaptation for the series Shin Ikitosen. But not only that, but they've also revealed a key art as well as a spring 2022 anime debut date. And while most might be put off by the fact that this is more of an etchy combat sort of series, I am kind of looking forward to that. This is something that we really haven't had too much of recently, and to see it kind of come back is kind of interesting. And for our last bit of news, we have No Game No Life. This is something that's kind of been running for quite a while now. I know web gaming has not been letting me forget this. <laughs> B.S. After a long time of teasing this event, we finally have the announcements coming out of the No Game No Life event. And unfortunately, it is not a new season of No Game No Life like many were hoping. <laughs> Instead, it looks like we are going to be getting a new manga for No Game No Life. This is a continuation manga, so it will be covering new content. They've already listed this synopsis as covering the arc to Eastern Federation. It will be having a new mangaka working on the series. Replacing Mashiro Hiragi will be Ryu Naito. So again, while many might be a little bit upset at the idea of not getting more anime, I'm guessing that most people that are fans of the manga are probably excited for this. Me personally, I'm actually thinking of checking it out. And while I reached out to Web Gaming to see if I can get some sort of reaction to this news, I didn't get much. But that's it. That's all the news to cover for anime right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this run through of the news. Definitely, if you did, leave a like down below and comment. Let me know what you're most excited for. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share the feed if you can. Support us on Patreon or in the tips link in the description below. We definitely appreciate you all, and y'all take care.